za Kenya wewe kwa uzuri wa shilingi shilingi kumi Tafadhali lazima tusitize mpaka tuhakishe kwamba bei ya stima imerudi chini, bei ya unga imerudi chini, bei ya petroli imerudi chini, bei ya maisha imerudi chini. Na sio tafadhali. Kwa hayo kwa hayo mengi nataka kumkaribisha minority ya wetu kiongozi wetu wa bunge mheshimiwa Opio Wandai asante uh, thank you thank you very much uh, mheshimiwa Mawadi i can see you are indeed really popular here extremely popular and that is really amazing uh, i will not say much as you know we are in church we shall be talking more outside as is our tradition as in Azimio, we don't politic in church. But then allow me, first and foremost, to congratulate uh, Bishop Jonah Ogonyo and Mrs. Ogonyo together with all the congregants, all the congregants of uh, Cathedral of Praise Ministries International for this wonderful achievement. We have been challenged to invest before we can reap. We shall be striving to invest in this cathedral which is under construction in the coming weeks, months, and if possible within the next one year. So that when it is finally completed, our investments is also there. So, uh, we want to thank you, Bishop uh, Jonah. Really, you are a wonderful man. Bishop Jonah, as you know, is my constituent. He is a uh, very 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 humble servant of God and he continues to be a source of inspiration to our people not only at home but all over the world can you, can you clap for him once more Nikki Malizia we have been challenged to be risk takers I want to assure you today that we are for sure going to be taking risks you know Bishop without really getting into politics uh, I just heard this morning uh, the police and I want to appeal to those who are currently controlling the instruments of state that please get your priorities right the police have got a more, a more urgent duty to deal with the rampant insecurity and banditry in the North Rift and also to pursue the killers, those who have killed the hundreds of people in Kilifi. Not to go around chasing leaders. And let me say this. No one will never ask for your permission, the police, to, to demonstrate. And under the new constitution, we don't need the permission of any person. Any person. We simply, we simply notified you. And it is their duty to provide security to those who will be exercising their rights under Article 37 of the Constitution. And therefore, and therefore, as we had earlier announced, on Tuesday we have a date with this thing. And we are going to undertake very serious demonstrations. It's a duty of the police to provide security to those who will be demonstrating and those who will not be demonstrating. But more importantly, if you want us to stop these demonstrations, just do a simple thing. Do those things that Kuna Nawaf has said. Reduce the cost of power, reduce the cost of food, okay? And ensure that you, uh, uh, that, that you undertake all that we ask you to undertake among our five, object, uh, our five conditions. But more critically, more critically, it is important as Kenyans to realize that what we are currently doing is for the benefit of the people, not for the benefit of, one, of the leaders. And therefore, and you must also remember, I think there was this, there was this writer in Nigeria, I think it was Inca, Excellency Kalonzo, who once wrote that uh, a, a tiger does not uh, proclaim or pronounce his dignity, just pounces. So stop reminding us that we have got instruments of state. Use those instruments properly to protect Wanainchi and their property. And allow Wanainchi, those who want to demonstrate, to demonstrate peacefully. 
to demonstrate peacefully. And I want to conclude by saying that our demonstrations shall continue to be peaceful.